Well, um, you know, in our lab, we're working on um, some new areas in science related to metamaterials, which are materials that don't exist in nature but have some interesting properties. Um, one of the inventions I described last night is a new antenna technology based on metamaterials that gives us the ability to make a flat panel antenna that can electronically steer the beam. And we don't have any other way of doing that practically right now. You could do that with phase array antennas, but they're very expensive and require thousands of elements with their own individual feeds. And, and so you can't really uh, practically make something like that. Um, our antenna uses one feed, and um, it's manufactured like a printed circuit board, so we can make them pretty cheap. And the idea there is then you'd be able to put an antenna like that on a car or an airplane, and it can steer its beam to stay trained on a satellite, an LEO satellite, instead of uh, you know what we do now, which is put dishes on the ground aimed at geostationary satellites. The latency on those is like 400 milliseconds, so um, not useful for a lot of the things we want to do. An LEO satellite could be like 25 milliseconds of latency. And so, anyway, the point being... Because they're closer? Or they're a lot closer, that's yeah. right. And, um, and so, you know, you could do the same kind of thing with a, um, with a cell tower, aiming your beam at a tower instead of using omnidirectional antennas like we do right now, which just raise the noise floor for everyone. And that's, that's a lot of why we can't get fast wireless to everybody, because we don't have, you know, enough spectrum to accomplish that. And so we have to reuse the same spectrum in smarter ways. And this is, this is a technology that we think could really change the world and ultimately give us gigabit wireless to everything all the time. Well, again, you're talking to somebody who works in the very early stages of these inventions. And so, uh, you know, we're developing that concept in the lab. We're building prototypes, testing them out, trying to refine that technology. Eventually, we'll probably uh, license it out to some other companies or spin out a company to develop the technology. So, you know, we're at least a few years from hitting the market with, you know, probably an initial product. And, uh, you know, those that's that's pretty normal for what we do. You know, we're inventing things that are kind of five or ten years in the future. 